Well, as we're looking westbound today, you see we had plenty of cloud cover and plenty of sunshine filtering between those partly cloudy and mostly sunny skies. Got us up into those 80s for a beautiful Sunday, and we're going to be starting that cooling trend going into tomorrow. Had that beautiful sunset at about 645 as we're already cooling off into the 70s, and tonight cooling off pretty well compared to last night. As we're looking at the last 24 hours, you can see only got down to about that 59 degree mark, got that sunshine going, and as always, we got up to about that 84 degree mark for a very warm day and it's unseasonably warm. Then we got this nighttime cooling already down to about 58 degrees, but with these southerly winds and with the how the temperatures have been, I'm not going to think not thinking we're going to cool off too much more going into this, uh, these overnight hours. For like right now, though, 58 degrees here in San Angelo, 67 still there in Junction, 64 for both Sonora and Brady, 61 for Ozona, and as we get a good look at the entire region, we're seeing those 50s and 60s across the board, mainly the 60s, but we have 59 there in Sterling City, 58 here in San Angelo, and then 59 as well in Wall and Ballinger. But other than that, seeing those 60s out there is 63 in Melbourne. 64 down in Roosevelt and then 66 over there in Barnhart. So a fair spread of temperatures cooling off into tonight and we're all going to be only getting down into those 50s for a little bit of a warm night once again tonight. But we're looking at those dew points and that moisture level. Seeing a fair bit of a dry line setting up across the region but that's going to be going further north going into tonight as we're seeing these southerly winds remain. 59 degree dew point there in junction with a 76% humidity, 78% in Menard versus 25 degrees and 28% humidity up in Sterling City. So that is going to be moving its way further northwest, which is going to be helping that cloud cover into tonight, as well as that rain chance a little bit going into tomorrow with the best chances lying to the areas southeast of San Angelo. For the moisture tracker over the next couple of days, though, you see that weak cold front pushing through on Tuesday pushes what moisture we get in tomorrow out of the area. By Wednesday into Thursday, we see more of this resurgence coming in, and then that's the time frame we're looking for more of a rainfall co event coming into the area where we could see upwards of near a half inch coming into the area, into the Concho Valley, especially for the eastern half of our region. Before Friday, that the next cool front comes in, cools us off for the weekend, and then that's going to be uh, ending our rain chances as well going into Friday. Timing this out on that upper level pattern, you can see Tuesday seeing a fairly zonal flow, but then by the Wednesday time frame, if you keep that your eye on that trough, that's what we've been watching. That's when we start to see more of that energy making its way overhead for the Concho Valley, and that's going to be working in tandem with that moisture, aiding those rain chances going into Wednesday and into Thursday. By the Thursday into Friday time frame, that's where we see that cold front, that final cold front push through, pushing moisture out of the area and that rain chance is starting to ending. As we're looking at this current satellite and radar, still pretty calm conditions across the United States, but as we're zooming in here to the, to the Concho Valley, seeing just a little bit of cloud cover out there, especially over there towards Crockett County, that's going to be increasing as we see those dew points and that moisture working its way in from the south to the north. Looking at this extended future cast into this next week, you can see that cloud cover is going to be increasing tomorrow as well as that little bit of a rain chance for mainly our southeastern counties. Going to be pushing that out for tomorrow night. Tuesday looking beautiful, but then by Wednesday, that's where that main rain threat is going to be coming in into Thursday as well as moving into Friday as we're really timing this out. Looking upwards of possibly up to half an inch before that pushes out of the way going into Friday and then leaving way for a beautiful weekend across the Concho Valley. As we're looking at tonight though, going to be cooling off nicely. Only getting to about that 56 degree mark. I'm going to only call a couple more degrees as we're not going to be seeing these southerly winds for much longer. Tomorrow again up to about 81 as we see those partly cloudy skies and that southwesterly wind really hanging out and bringing that more of that moisture up into the area. As we're looking at our seven day forecast, you can see those 80s hanging out for the next couple of days, but then the 70s working into the area by Wednesday, as well as that increase in the rain chances, but then potentially the 60s by next weekend. That's all for your seven day forecast, but now we'll head on back to Shelby.